I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living, ayy. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashion. Nisha here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, we're going to be making these dope, dope Seahawks tapestry pants. So, the first step is to find a pair of pants that you like the fit of. These were some loose jeans that I had, so I decided to trace those. And you just want to trace around it to get your pattern. You want, first want to trace it to get your front pants pattern. So you want to fold your pants on the front side. And we're going to make a back pants pattern as well. And you want to fold your pants on the back side to get that pattern. The two patterns are different. The back pattern has like a little slant in it. You will see it once I start tracing around it. And the front doesn't have that slant. It's so that it can fit your bottom. When you make it to the bottom of your pants pattern, you want to add about, I said an inch, I added an inch for seam allowance and I didn't want them to be too short. So I would say add an inch of seam allowance to the bottom hem. And of course, be sure to mark which pattern this is because you don't want to get it mixed up with the back pattern. Once you're done tracing your pants, this is what you should have. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the back side of the pants for our back pattern. Once you're all done making your pattern, this is what they should look like. Now we're going to cut out the fabric pieces that we need. You can cut it out on either side. It's your choice. I decided to cut it on this side because of the Seahawks and the black and white strings. They're easier to style, but you can do it however you like. When cutting out your pattern pieces, you do want to cut one on the wrong side of the pattern and one on the right side of the pattern. So basically just flipping your pattern piece over. If you don't flip the pattern piece over, you'll end up having one of your pieces inside out and that's not what we want. We want it all to be on the right side of this fabric. Once you're done, you should have four pieces, two back pieces, and they should look like this. You should also have two front pieces that mimic this. Now you want to lay the two back pieces and two front pieces face together and pin them in the middle section. We're going to sew these two pieces together in the middle with a zigzag stitch. After that, you want to lay your front pieces and your back pieces face together and pin them from the middle seam, from the middle crotch seam, all the way down both sides of the leg.
now that you have them pinned we're going to sew all the way around from the bottom of the leg to the crotch to the bottom of the other leg using a zigzag stitch now to sew the outside of the pants leg we can't do it how we would normally do it from the inside of the fabric so you have to do a top stitch for this, you can top stitch across it and leave those rugged edges out. If that's your flavor stitch, you do that. But I don't want those rugged edges out. So I'm going to fold it over as you can see me doing in this clip. And I'm just going to top stitch straight across there so that it can be nice and seamless. See how we don't have those little frays out? If you like that, that's cool. Keep it. But that's not my flavor. So I folded it in and I'm going to use a top stitch. So if you're doing it this way, Fold it in about, I say, one fourth of an inch, a half an inch. It really doesn't matter. You just want to hide that frayed in. And this is what you should have. And we're just going to sew over it with the top stitch very, very close to the end. But make sure you are not sewing over those fringes on the end. Next, you want to create the casing for your elastic band now when creating this casing when we sew around we're going to leave an open pocket to insert our elastic band so do not close the stitch when you sew all the way around leave about an inch of space so you can push your elastic band through you'll also want to hem the bottom of your pants so just fold it over about a half an inch and we're going to sew across there with a straight stitch After you've sewn everything together, the last thing you want to do is insert your elastic band. And all you do is push it in all the way through, all the way around the waist area. And once you're done, you sew up that little pocket you left open and that's it, you are done. Okay, Flavor Squad, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you like this video. If you like the turnout, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you are new here, once again, make sure you subscribe. If you're just watching the watch, make sure you subscribe. If you guys try this out, be sure to tag me on Instagram. That's all I have for you guys. May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.